Welcome all my zodiac signs into this all zodiac signs reading. It is going to be for Friday and Saturday, which is the 10th to the 11th of November. Yes, I have to check my dates, okay? Um, we are going to be starting out with the sign of Aries and moving through to the sign of Pisces. Do also remember to check out your rising, your moon, and your Venus as well, so that it can give you a bigger picture with regards to what's going on in your world. Rising sign has got to do with something that you're trying to create, a problem you're trying to solve, how you're trying to express yourself in this world. Your moon sign has got to do with all your emotions, how you're feeling, if it's good or negative or anxious, you're going to go check there. And Venus has always got to do with some other people or another person, okay? So let's get started by calling in your spirit guides. If you want to stay for this part of the the reading it's really good that you do because we are going to be preparing your energy by reading the singing bowls by raising your vibration and getting you prepared to hear the messages you're meant to hear so let's start and of course calling in your spiritual team so spirit guides for all the zodiac signs who have joined me here today please come into my spirit room guide me in this reading and speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. Show me clearly what it is I need to see. For the highest good for everybody who is watching. Let us begin. So we are starting out with the amazing sign of Aries. Let's get in here, Aries, and find out what is going on with you for Friday and Saturday. What is happening in your energy? What is it that you need to know about at this time? So let's get started for Aries, please. Spirit guide, show me what I need to see. All right, surrender. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> surrender to the divine that is full moon energy. Okay. So whenever we got a card coming up that says go with the flow, surrender to the divine, um, release control, it means that something is out of your control. Basically, your life could be taking a direction or something is going to occur here where you're going to have to just see how things are going to unfold. But you have to understand that whatever does unfold here, you have to trust that whatever is going to come from whatever situation this is, you are going in the right direction no matter what. It's almost like divine order or divine unfolding and you got to trust that energy. It's one of the hardest things to do. Because sometimes, especially Aries, I think you as well, uh, you really want to be in control. You know, the first sign of the zodiac, you're all about action, movement, control, um, moving forward, creation. Um, you know, and when something gets out of your control, I feel like it can make you feel a little bit uh, out of control of things, which cannot be so positive for you sometimes. So let's see what will come up in your energy. I'm really curious to see what's going on here. You have to fall into this energy where it's kind of as if, as if you're saying, um, I trust God that I'm moving in the right direction or whatever you call that, you know. So in your energy, the four pentacles really not being sure. And I kind of picked up whatever card's going to come up in your energy with this kind of surrender to the divine. It's going to be a card of like um, being unsure, being unstable, um, not really liking how that feels. Uh, this is a card of, I'm not sure, I'm really feeling insecure about something here. Um, it can have to do with your money, your finances, your career, or some kind of stability that you're needing to have in your life here. Ooh. Let's have a look and see the situation. The Five of Swords, there's something going on here without a doubt. The Five of Swords comes up as either problems that you are facing or issues surrounding other people, um, meaning that um, you're dealing with a problem with another person here. You're dealing with um, problems with people at work. You're dealing with uh, situations as well in life where you need to solve a problem. You may not know how this is going to turn out for you. Okay, um, I'm also picking up almost like an emotional energy coming up here as well. I would advise that you also go check your moon sign as well to get a bigger picture if this is your sun sign reading. Um, it will check in on that emotion. And let's see what Spirit Guide will advise you. There is going to be a change here. Um, the advice is here, yeah, there is a change coming. There is a new beginning for you. I feel like you were, you're going to be moving forward in some kind of way. Um, there is a possibility you may leave something behind here. Okay, this new beginning for you and this change, it's not going to be, um, 
I'm hearing Spirit God say like an easy transition for you. Um, you may be, I'm going back to it again, deal with some emotional kind of feelings as you are either leaving something or moving into something new. I feel like this is like you don't have a choice here. It's almost like you have got to. This is the only way forward. And um, this is what is going to occur. You're going to end up moving away from something and forward um, in a new direction. Um, you got to let go. you got to surrender here. Let's see your outcome. You have to trust this. Oh, whatever this is to you, um, you have got to trust this. Um, if it's something that you have to let go of, if it's something that changes and it's out of your control and you have to now move in this new direction, Spirit Guide is letting you know you are moving towards that. We know where you need to be. We know where you are going to be happy. We know what the future is for you. Even if in this present moment you do not see this. The Ten of Cups, if you're starting out on a new beginning and you're leaving this Five of Swords behind and the Four of Pentacles behind and where you are moving into this new beginning is the Ten of Cups, I would truly surrender to this and I would let my life be carried to the place where I know I'm going to be happy, where I know I belong here. And I feel like this is your journey and this is where you're going. I really feel like you're almost going to look back here and go, wow, no, everything unfolded perfectly for me. Even in that moment, I felt like it was not. But as I moved into this new life, it seemed like it was exactly the life I was supposed to be in. This is where you find your happiness here in your Ten of Cups. It can be marriage, it can be your life in general, just like falling together, your family, you, your home, everything is in its place. And you're surrounded by the people you're meant to be surrounded by. There we go. Thank you so much, Aries. I hope this one helps and guides you as you're going through your weekend, entry into your weekend. Um, something is definitely changing for you here. There is a change coming. It is a new beginning. But trust this new beginning, okay? There we go. Thank you so much. Let's do it this for my Taurus. Taurus, how are you doing? Welcome into Friday and Saturday reading, which is going to be looking at um, general energy. Something specific may come up. It just depends on showing up in your reading. So let's get into this and have a look and see for the next two days here what is going on with you, Taurus. Oh, hello, hello. I'm just saying whatever it is right now that you are working on, that you are planning to like put into execution, like you got an idea, you got a goal in mind, and you want to start in a new direction, or even something that's going around in your mind, and you're thinking to yourself, you know, I'm thinking of changing, I'm thinking of doing something here. Do it. Okay, keep going and do it, because we've got new moon in Taurus, which is your reading, and it says there, prosperity lies ahead. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, it's a winner. Okay, this is a definite yes from the universe to you. Okay, so let's get in here. That's a big yes. Okay, and um, whatever is going on here, that is yes, yes, yes. Whatever you're thinking, be it whatever it is, you're thinking, should I start the business? Should I go and study? go back to school and go study, um, should I leave my job and apply for a new one, and that would be a big yes, okay, definitely follow whatever is coming into your mind here, all right, because this is going to be very prosperous for you, okay, so let's have a look and see in your energy, the chariot, yes, move forward, <laughs> absolutely, you got cancer in your reading, yes, Taurus, move forward, look, your goal is not going to be easy to reach, this is a lot of hard work and it's a lot of, a lot of determination, okay? Um, but this is a, a card of success. It's like nothing can stop me. It will be difficult, but I know I need to keep going to reach this goal. If you do this, you will reach a place of triumphant success here. Okay, this is amazing. Let's have a look at your situation. You do have worries about finances. Imagine. You do worry about the money. You do worry about your long-term future here. You might even be tight with money. And you could even be thinking of a way how to solve this. You are going to get this right. You're going to solve this. Let's see what Spirit Guide advises you. I love this energy. Queen of Swords is my favorite tarot card. 
in the whole tarot. Because the Queen of Swords is all about logic, okay, even though I'm pretty emotional, but I love to be in the logic energy. She doesn't rely upon her emotions to make a decision. She uses her intelligence and she's going, okay, so I want to move forward to create this prosperity, to solve this four pinnacles for myself. What is it that I need to do? That's the attitude you need to have. And she literally takes action. She's flying there, this owl, that sword. She's heading for something. She's doing something. She's taking steps in the direction of her goal. What she does not rely upon is emotion in this decision. And that's great because sometimes the emotions that we carry with regards to changing something, doing something, okay, can make us hesitate. And she's definitely not hesitating. You know, when we start to think like, um, in the negative way, and we start to think like stuff like, what if this goes wrong? What if it doesn't work? What if, uh, what if I don't get this right? We start operating from a place of fear, which is that emotion that she does not carry. Because all she's doing is, what do I need to do to solve this? I need to do A, B, C. And she just goes and does it. She doesn't let any emotion come in that will prevent her from moving forward no matter what. So Spirit Guides are advising you just to look very practically at the situation. Don't go down the rabbit hole of the what ifs, okay? Just look at what you need to be doing next and do it. All right, trust me. With this energy here, you've got the Queen of Cups. You will reach a place of satisfaction here in your life. You are going to be very happy and very proud of what you'll be able to achieve here. You're going to be moving into a life where you are emotionally satisfied with the kind of life that you're living in, the kind of environment that you're in, which I feel like it's very important. Whenever we see the Queen of Cups, there is no financial difficulty there because you will not be in the Queen of Cups energy if you are having sleepless nights worrying about how you're going to pay the bills. So there you go. Thank you so much. I love this reading. Um, Taurus, go for whatever this is. You follow the stream and you keep moving towards it and you will be in a place where you are financially stable. There we go. Thank you so much, Taurus, for being here. I will see you guys in your next daily reading or in your long-form content reading. Bye. Um, let's do this for my Gemini. Gemini, how are you doing? Welcome one more time if you've been here before. And if it is your first time, welcome. It's great to have you here. My name is Deborah. Let's get into this for you and look at Friday and Saturday and find out what's going on in this, in this reading for you. Oh, you are good enough. Okay. And this is full moon in Virgo energy. Um, I'm hearing Spirit God say a bit of competition. Um, other people vying or wanting what you want. And you may be going, am I going to be able to get this right? It's almost like you're going for a job interview, for an example. And there's so many people applying for this job. And you're just like, how am I going to get noticed among all these people? I feel like you're going to get noticed in some kind of way here. You're going to stick out and you're going to be the one that gets seen. So don't hold back here. Yeah? Give it your all and stand out in some kind of way. All right. Don't, um, I'm, almost, I'm almost picturing somebody at work. Okay. Um, and it's like you, there's a lot of scenarios where this can be fitting. I'll give you the two that I'm thinking of. It's like somebody at work and there's a problem that you're dealing with, say, in your office. And you have an idea and you're kind of like going, okay, if we do that, that will solve this problem. But then you're looking at everybody talking and every all the big shots all speaking. And you're kind of like going, what if I say something? And they just look at me like, where? You know, they just don't pay attention to me. I think they're going to. If you speak up, you may even have a solution to a problem here. And it's also this other energy of like, like for instance, relationship where um, you go out with a group of friends and you're like, okay, well, I get noticed by somebody tonight. And maybe your friends are like really good looking or charming or whatever. And you're just like, I don't know if anybody's going to notice me among all these beautiful people. And um, you actually are going to get noticed, okay? So whatever scenario this is for you, in your energy, four pentacles, this is my stalker card for today. All of the zodiac signs that I have been working with today have gotten this energy. And I kind of feel like um, 
everybody is feeling a little bit insecure for some reason. We're moving into this 1111 uh, portal that's coming up. And this is a big energy. It talks about shifts and changes. And sometimes when we sort of move into before a change, we do get a bit... Um, and it can be an unknown change. Sometimes we don't even know the change is coming. It's just that we pick up on these different energies of something's coming. It's not somebody hooting by my house, if you're wondering. It's my neighbor. Okay, I'm sorry. With regards to this, you know, we can sometimes feel a change coming in. And it can make us get a little bit insecure about what is coming. So let's see what else comes in here. In your situation, the magician, focus. Okay. Um, there's definitely something here that you want to create. There's something you want to have in your life here. The Magician card is always talking about what you're trying to build, what you're trying to work on, the goal that you're trying to create or something you're trying to achieve. And you may be thinking even, what if I'm not even good enough to create this? What if I'm going to try and work on something here and it doesn't work, you know? The Magician card always means you have everything in your capability to do this. So there's a bit of doubt sometimes, you know, in the energy it's like, okay, I don't know if I'm going to get this right. I hope I'm going to get it right. Um, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it, okay? Uh, your spirit guides are advising you. Oh, my. you got Leo coming up in your reading. Yes, you are strong enough to do this. Yes, you have everything you need. Yes, you have the intelligence, the know-how, the ability to stand above everybody else and to overcome any adversity that you may be facing here. You are strong enough to create this. I love this reading. The outcome for you, you will get the Queen of Pentacles. Hello. Yes, you will get what you're looking for. Yes, you will be safe and secure. Yes, there will be money there for you to live on. Yes, you will reach this goal. You are good enough. Whatever this is, it's something long term. And you're feeling good in a situation here, knowing that whatever you step into and whatever you've been working on trying to create here, you have literally created this reality. A lot of pride comes in with the Queen of Pentacles because she is totally in this energy of um, being happy. I'm just going to turn my sound off. Sorry, guys. I forgot to switch off my sound in the, in, on my phone. So, yeah. Okay. So let's get into this. Thank you so much, and my beautiful Gemini. I really hope this one helps you. There is a goal that's going to be reached, and don't doubt that you cannot have that. Okay, so let's go. Cancer, how are you doing? Welcome into Friday and Saturday's reading for you. We are going to be looking at what's going on you going on going on around you during these two days and get an idea of what needs to be said to you okay so that card just completely flipped over i'm so curious to see i'm just going to take what the top one is there balance spirituality and practicality this is a full moon in pisces full moon energy is talking about something that already exists okay it's not something new, like a new moon energy. It's something that's going on in your life right now. I'm hearing Spirit Guide saying, and this would actually cancer kind of match your energy, okay? Because I feel like there could be something that you're trying to create or do, but you're kind of like stressed out about being able to get something right here. And it's almost like when that emotion comes over you, where you're feeling as if this is so overwhelming, I'm feeling stressed out, then you can't get practical. So it's almost like you need to balance your emotions, you know. Um, you and Pisces always need to balance your emotions um, so that you can still be practical about something here. I, I kind of get this sometimes as well. Like if something has happened, like on a really, like I, I, you know what gets me? If I have to go somewhere and I've got to spend an entire day um, in some office somewhere, which is something that I've actually been doing a lot over the past couple of months. I've had to go to home affairs like one million times and you go there for eight hours and you just sit there and you're just like, I'm dying, you know. And when that happens and it's stressful being there, um, any government office, you know, and it's almost like you're sitting there and you're just like, when, you, when I get back, I'm like emotionally drained. And even physically drained. And then it takes me like a day to recover from just being there. And I got the same kind of feeling that what's going on with you here. So it's almost like you need to get your emotions right so that you can physically take action again. It's quite interesting energy. It is like that. We become drained. So let's see what's going on in your energy. There's definitely something you're trying to work on here. What could be happening also with the star card, which is Aquarius coming in here, is that... 
even the problems that you may be facing trying to reach this goal could be causing you to get drained in some kind of way. Maybe you're trying to create something here, trying to get your life to be in a certain place and then it's not really going the way that you want to. So it's like it's draining your energy. Let's see the situation. High Priestess, it's an energy reading. Okay, the energy reading, it comes up as what we do not see. The High Priestess always works in the world of spirit. Um, or the world of the unseen. And I kind of feel like this is tying into your energy. Your energy could be really drained right now. And even though you're trying to work on this goal and this dream, it's almost like you, you can't, you don't have to get up and go. How do I do that? I want to do this. You're thinking about it. And then you're like, okay, today I'm going to get up and I'm going to go do this A, B, C, D, and whatever. And when the time comes, you only do A. You can't get to you know, B, C, and D, because you just drain, your energy is just drained. It's really a time I think you need to just really rest this weekend and recharge yourself. You could be facing a bit of burnout here. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like you could be facing burnout. The Seven of Wands is too many things coming towards you. It's too much going on. You can see in the Seven of Wands, there's one crocodile sitting there, and all these crocodiles are just coming to where they, they want to be here. Or they want what the crocodiles got. Okay, let's not discuss what that is. But they, they're coming to get it. And now this one crocodile has to protect what it has now got there. And it's almost like, um, I need to protect what I have. There's a lot going on here. It's overwhelming. There's many things happening. And I need to protect what I have. You're going to be fine. Because the Seven of Wands is my card of, it's going to be fine. Okay, just watch your energy. I feel like you need to kind of like take a bit of a break. Yeah, absolutely, Nine of Cups. I think as you move forward here, you need to just go into your emotion a little bit here. Maybe the next two days over the time that you get this reading, just take a step back from whatever you're trying to work on here and take a two days off. Okay, just recover your energy. Get the emotion, the Cups energy back to its place. Maybe just balance that spirituality and practicality there. Get the emotional side of things, which is why the high priestess has come up. The energy side of things here settled. It can also be even your brain. It feels like it's it's just too much going on there. And it's like you just need to take off the space out, go out into nature, go sit under a tree somewhere and look at the sunset and the sunrise. Um, if you can't do that, just, you know, don't even don't even get dressed, you know, just stay in your pajamas for the whole day and just sit up there with your feet on, on your chair and, you know, go and watch something on Netflix or on Disney Prime or whatever you, you got over there and just take a break so that you can come back, okay, after you've rested, after you've recovered and you're moving forward emotionally and energetically right so that you can get your dream created, which shows up as being here, as happening, okay? So I feel like a little bit of time for you to kind of like um, look at your emotion and look at how you're feeling and look at how you need a break. I feel like you just need a break and really put that energy first because if you do that, um, you will then have the right kind of energy to be able to create what it is you're trying to do. Okay, so a little bit of a break is called for you there, Cancer. All right, let's get into this for Leo. Leo, how are you doing? Welcome into your reading. It is great and absolutely amazing to have you here. This is for Friday and Saturday, the 10th to the 11th of November. Is it true that we are literally moving into the middle of November? My goodness. Okay, we've got an energy here um, that has, I think I had this for Aries. So if you've got any Aries placement, like your rising sign, your moon, or your Venus, please go check it out. Um, surrender to the divine. Okay. Um, the surrender to the divine energy, which is full moon energy, means that something is about to come into completion or something is about, goals about to re be released. It can also mean that something is about to be let go of. A goal is about to be released. <laughs> a, something could be getting released or a goal is about to be coming into completion. Okay. It's all about letting go, ending a cycle, moving into a new one. This, I've got to see what it actually means for you. Because it can be um, you are surrendering to the, the, to the divine and you're saying, you know what? 
whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Let's see how this goes. And you're just kind of like letting something go and allowing it to show you what's going to be. It can be a relationship with a person, a situation unfolding around you. And it's almost like you're stepping back and you're going, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm not going to interfere. Let me just have a look and see. It can also be something where you're trying to control a situation and it's not um, going the way that you want it to go. It's like no matter how you try to do something, it's sort of just doing what it's doing. Um, it's like you're out of control of a situation and when that does happen, it really is meaning that you are out of control. So it means that you have to let something go. There could be fated events or destined divine um, destiny happening with you right now. Okay, so let's see what is in your energy. I'm so curious. And Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning coming in for you here. And I feel like whatever this is, it is happening. It is happening here. Okay, it's like, almost like saying it's set in stone that this is going to take place. So let's see in the situation, the High Priestess, you're going to have to trust. Oh boy, you're going to have to trust the unseen future, the energy of the unknown. Um, what is your destiny that you do not know about? What is lying ahead of you that you're meant to be experiencing? And you're going to have to trust that here. Yeah. There's a lot going on with the High Priestess on an energetic level behind the scenes here. Let's see what Spirit Guide will say. The Tower, this reading. Yeah, there's going to be some big change happening in your world here. It's out of your control. Whatever this is, a change is about to happen and you are going to have a new beginning. And you are going to have to trust this. No matter what, you're going to have to trust this one. I'm so curious to see what the situation is here. The Nine of Pentacles, you will be just fine. You're going to be just fine. This is your outcome. Wow, what an outcome. You will find the place where you're going to be stable. If this is like career or business or even a relationship, I feel like you're moving away from something that's very unstable. You are becoming very independent in your future. You're going to be somebody who really can take care of themselves, who can pay all their bills, who has got a long-term stable job, a good business running, whatever this is for you, that you are satisfied with where you are and you feel safe in your life. Even better than safe, you could be thriving here. You are being taken to this place. Don't fight the flow. Go here. This is where you will be okay. In fact, better than okay. Because yeah, you are thriving. Okay. Yeah, you are growing. Yeah, you're becoming powerful. So go there. Okay, allow whatever has happened, if it hasn't happened already, whatever may happen to happen and trust in this unknown energy. There we go. Thank you so much, Leo, for being here. I will see you guys in your next long form content reading or I will see you, which should be out at the time I'm doing this one. It is a past, future and present one, if I'm not mistaken. It's literally uploading on my PC right now. So if you want to check it out, if that's what you wish to do. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for being here. Virgo, how are you doing? Welcome into your Friday and Saturday reading. It is absolutely wonderful to have you here. Let's find out what is going on with you for Friday and Saturday. What does Spirit Guide want you to know right now, Virgo? Okay. Nothing will come of the situation. Void, of course, moon. So this is all about darkness. Look at this card. There's a lot of darkness in the sky. And it shows that something is off here. Um, there could be something that you are worried about here. Um, something where you're kind of like imagining the worst. Okay. And it could be an unnecessary worry that you're carrying. But I just got to go. I got to go into this energy and really look and see for you what is actually going on here. So let's have a look and see for Virgo. There's definitely something that's not going to happen. Okay. So I want to see what's going on here. What is up with this energy? All right. There's too many cards. Spirit guide, show me the ones that I need to see. Oh my. There's so many cards falling in your reading. All right. I'm going to take what they've shown me. 
All right, we've got one, two, three. I need one more. Let's cut the deck. So there's something here definitely worrying you. We literally got the four of cups that have swollen. Okay. <laughs> Your reading is so interesting. The four of cups is all about uh, situations that have happened in the past that didn't go well. That makes you now worry about something not going well in the future. It's almost like you've learned uh, something from your past that you had a lesson taught to you about life and it wasn't positive. So it makes you doubt the future with the four of cups coming in here. It's like, here comes this opportunity. Okay, here comes love. Here comes uh, a major change in my life that I can step into. But because I've seen a lot in my past where I didn't exactly get what I asked for, it makes me doubt what I'm now seeing. Okay, and I think this is the void of course moon. Because there is definitely something coming in here. You know what I'm noticing here? Look at these two cards. Look at how the position of the moon and the position of the cup, they're like on the same side of the card. So I really do feel like there is something coming in here. And when it comes towards you, because you've kind of like seen maybe other times there's been promises, other times events have taken place where it's like this could be good. When you actually get it, it's not what you think. So you could be going, I don't know about all of this, you know. Um, your, your situation here is the, oh, the world card. Very good card to come up. The world card is all about, I'm seeing this bumblebee there. So it kind of reminds me of how you're trying to work on your own existence and the goals that you're trying to create and the world that you're trying to create for yourself and um, how you want to be living in this world. Okay. And um, there's some doubt here a little bit. Am I going to be able to get something right here? Am I going to be able to move and shift the things away that I want to be? And Spirit Guide is going, advice to you, advice to you is please accept this beautiful cup that we are offering. Um, you know, it's so interesting that I'm talking about the three of cups at the bottom there being the memories of things that have gone wrong. And then they bring up the three of cups here with good stuff showing up here. And it's like they're kind, kind of going back to remind you not everything was bad in the past not every three of cups that we look at in the four of cups is negative there were things in the past that you were happy about that went your way this is going to be one of those as well sometimes we tend to um really focus on the negative things instead of the positive because you know we get the disappointment energy sometimes i feel like it's more overwhelming than the happy energy and it's like spirit guides are asking you at this moment in time to focus on all that you have accomplished, to focus on all the good things that did take place and know that this is also one of them because there is definitely something going on here behind the scenes. There's events taking place behind the scenes that you do not know about. And it's almost like with the high priestess energy here, energy is being moved in your favor here and you have to trust what that one cup is that's coming in there and something that you are really worrying about here you do not know what can happen and i feel like whatever can happen here is definitely going to be aligning with what you're trying to create this is a good energy coming in here not a negative one so whatever this is nothing will come of your fear that you are carrying you're literally going to step into the world where you can celebrate another accomplishment. This is very good. There we go. Thank you so much, Virgo, for being here. I will see you guys in your next daily reading, which should be out around about the time I'm editing that video right now. It is your past, present, and future energy. So I hope you'll check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you in your next daily reading or your next long form content reading. Let's do this for my wonderful Libra. Libra, how are you doing? Welcome into Friday and Saturday's reading. It is really good to have you here. Let's find out what your spirit guides. Sorry. Okay. Um, will say for you or say to you at this time. Maybe something's coming in quickly like a loud car. Okay. Apologies for that. All right. Hmm, Libra, you have got waxing crescent moon. Waxing crescent moon is just that moment after the new moon. So the new moon has taken place. In fact, a lot of people, when they see waxing crescent moon, they think it is the new moon. New moon can be so thin in the sky that it looks like it's not even there, but it's actually there. You really have to have like a telescope to actually see it. And this is have faith in your dreams. 
you are already on the way to getting this to become the full moon. There is a ways to go here, but you're already moving in the right direction. So don't give up on something here. Don't kind of say to yourself, no, this is never going to happen. It, everything that we create and that we get to fulfillment, um, we get a goal that gets accomplished, whatever this is for you. We all have to go through the stages of the moon. It has to be new moon. It has to be waxing crescent moon. It has to be uh, first quarter moon. It has to be all those energies to get it to be the full moon. There is a process that you have to go through and you're going to go through this process. Along the way, while this moon is getting full and your goal is getting accomplished, don't give up. That's the only way you're not going to get this right, okay? If you give up on something. Because it seems like it's too far away. It seems like it's too hard. It seems like the dream is too big. Um, only to you, not to the universe. Um, the universe goes, oh, you want what? Okay, let's get it going. And only you can give up on that, okay? So let's see in your energy. Five of Pentacles. Not sure. Uh, fear about financial stability in the future. Um, fear about financial loss. Or maybe there has already been financial loss here. There could also be... Um, lack of stability in your energy almost like I don't have enough to pay what I need to pay um, I'm afraid um, I might not even have enough to be able to create whatever this dream is it's like somebody saying you know I would love to buy a home I want this home but where's the money to do this so how am I going to be able to create this um, I'll tell you a quick story Libra about my mom okay just quick quick my mom wanted to buy a house Okay, and my mom was old already. I mean, she was like, you know, late 50s. And she used to tell me over and over again, specific, a home. It looks specific. She used to say, you know what I want? I just want a little house where it's got a little front door and two little windows like this. And I just walk in there and I've got just what I need. Like a little cottage, you know, but it's her own property, everything. And she didn't know how she would ever accomplish this, you know. And she was like, how am I going to get this right? You know what I mean? And um, after my dad passed away, she, she got this money payout. And it wasn't a lot, but we heard about these houses getting sold. And the price was like, you can do this. And I drove my mom to go look at the houses. And we rode, and they told us to go look at this one specific house that was just completed. And they were literally still laying the towels in that house. And um, we stopped in front of the house. It was the house. <laughs> I promise you, there was a door with two little windows like this on the side. And we were just like, you manifested that. Yes, I know my, my dad was not there. But ultimately, he took care of her to be able to create that reality. And it's like no matter what you um, go through, no matter what you're facing, always keep that end goal in mind. Know exactly what you want, even if you don't know how it's going to happen. And then just let the universe carry you, okay? Because my dad could have left and the money could not have been there. Or those houses were not going to be getting built and she would never have had it. But it all unfolded exactly the way it was meant to. So that she could also create that reality for herself. That's how you got to be in this energy. you got to trust that this universe will unfold events for you so that it works out in the right way for you okay your situation the knight of wands you want to move very quickly away from something here and i feel like it is whatever is causing you this problem here it's almost like you're saying to yourself i need to change this and i need to change this now with the knight of wands energy sorry for the noises in the background there's somebody helping me in the kitchen there so um the hermit energy it's no movement so spirit guides are just letting you know here hermit is all about um going within it's about silence and it's also about almost like a pause energy isolation sometimes comes in from here it's a very important phase to go into um because it allows you to really think about what you really want in this energy when you get into the hermit energy, do not jump around. As you can see, the spider sits very silently. There's no spider running around here. It's just sitting in the middle of this web. It's created patiently waiting. And while it's just there, it's not jumping. It's sitting quiet, meaning that you cannot, okay, change your ideas here. 
be very sure what is the stream and then hold it because that's how you bring it in but if you kind of like say okay because i don't see it coming all right it's not coming so i'm gonna let it go it's almost as if when you let it go it gets less let go as well and the way that was going to be made for you to get to that dream now adjusts so in hermit energy hold that vision here hold that vision that spider is looking up at that moon and it's going there's that moon there's my goal i'm holding this vision okay so you've got to be steady one way or another that reality will come to you as long as you keep that end goal in mind it's a very big trick actually um, and it will come towards you one step at a time one step at a time possibly even in the next 12 months and that means during this time while you are waiting Apologies to the background noises, guys. While you are waiting for this reality to come towards you here, which is definitely going to be solving problems, you will be moving towards it. It is better to be patient like this. I feel like this reading is all about patience. To keep that vision and to trust that no matter what this world is, how this world is blocking you, what is in your way, as long as you keep that end vision in mind, that's coming to you no matter what. And you know it like it's your reality. <laughs> and sometimes we have to be patient because I see a bit of impatience here with the Knight of Wands energy. These are complete opposite vibes. This is like, I want it now. And this is like, it's coming when it's coming. So please be patient. You can completely give up on this and never have it. Or you can be patient and let it come in when it's supposed to come in. Because there could be events also happening around you that need to unfold in a certain way so that you can actually um, move towards something. Uh, situations need to be put into place, alignment for you, so that this can become reality. And that's what can even be happening behind the scenes here. So you need to be patient right now because what you want here that goal, that dream that you want, it is coming in for you. There we go. Libra, thank you so much for being here. I hope you don't mind me telling you the story about my mom. I thought it will help you to understand that you do get what you want. Because I remember my mom talking about that house for, for years. <laughs> for years. I think she was like in her 40s and she was even talking about that house. She's like, that's the kind of place I want to be in. And she literally got the exact place. We really, The day we parked in front of that home, we were just like, that's it and we bought that house the same day <laughs> you know so yeah that's it that's how you work this so yes it comes when you hold it okay so there we go thank you so much libra for being here let's do this for scorpio scorpio how are you doing friday and saturday the 10th to the 11th of november let's find out what's going on with you right now what spirit guide will advise you about in this reading or what could be happening around you too so let's have a look and see all right, Scorpio, what's going on? Okay, disseminating moon. This is an interesting reading. Disseminating moon. Um, it's almost like a lot has happened. There could have been some kind of ending that has taken place here. Disseminating moon is that it's a day after the new moon, uh, after the full moon, sorry. So the moon is now disseminating. It's going smaller. Um, when a full moon takes place, it doesn't just disappear from the sky. It actually begins to reverse again and go smaller and smaller and smaller. So it grows bigger, it gets full, it grows smaller again. Um, and um, this really shows me that something has been solved, released, a goal has been reached, something has come to completion here in some kind of way. It's time just to take a breath, okay? It's time to recover, it's time to just be in your own energy for a moment before you start moving again in a new direction or you start putting your energy back into something, okay? So let's see what's going on with you here. Okay, a card has fallen. An Eight of Swords has showed up here in your energy. I'm going to go with it. The Eight of Swords, it can feel like you're stuck. It can be feeling like a lot is coming towards you. It's almost like you, you're nesting here in the middle, you know, and look at all these thorns here sort of coming towards you. It's like you don't have room to move or you don't know how to solve a problem. If something has happened here and it's been very, very overwhelming for you, and it feels like you're kind of stuck now in a situation. Just 
breathe for a moment, maybe just just take a moment here to kind of like rest and recover your energy. You are not stuck, okay? Um, sometimes even uh, when something has been solved or when we feel like a situation didn't go our way, it can feel like in that moment that our life is just pressuring us and we're stuck now. We can't move. But it doesn't stay there. It actually will move again and it will actually shift again. Um, there's a moment that I feel like you just need to sometimes take a break. Uh, just go into that energy and just be quiet, you know, to recover as well. Really interesting reading. You see the situation here? Six of Wands coming up here. You are going to get what you want. There's something here, a place that you want to be in. The Six of Wands is always talking about Something that you've been working very hard on here. Something that you've been putting all your soul, your effort, your time, your mind, your everything into. And you may be thinking, you know, you might have even reached a goal, to be honest with you, for some of you. You may have gotten the job, gotten this and solved a big problem. But you could be feeling even tired now. You could be feeling, now that I've reached this goal, um... Why am I feeling so funny? Why am I not feeling happy that I solved this problem? Why am I feeling like, oh, you know, you just need to take a break. You need your energy to be replenished. Um, for those of you who haven't yet gotten here and you feel like it's not coming in, I feel like it is going to happen for you. It's almost like it's, it's coming. It could be a little bit delayed. So knowing that something is actually going to happen the way you want it to, it's a good idea just to allow yourself to have a bit of a breather. Um, sometimes there can be a bit of a stuck energy before something happens. And in that energy where you feel like, oh, all the doors are shutting, um, that's the moment before something happens. So you need to just kind of like, okay, let me just wait a moment here to see what happens next, okay? Your spirit guide advising you, you're going to be just fine, okay? You are going to be just fine. Uh, overwhelming energy coming up again. It's overwhelming. Something is being a lot going on with you here. And it's almost like you're feeling maybe even burned out, to be honest, with the Seven of Wands being here. It's like a lot's going on here. And it's causing me, I need to get my life here, but I'm feeling like I can't handle this any longer. I feel so overwhelmed. You are going to be fine. You are going to be fine. Let's see what goes on here. You're going to be fine. Got a Hierophant coming in here. Um, just random out there on the side, if any of you feel like you need to go and get advice from anyone that's got to do with what you're trying to solve here or what you're trying to create. Meaning like, hey, let me go speak to a doctor. Let me go to a counselor. Let me go to a lawyer, an accountant, a pastor, somebody who is like got knowledge about something. You can go do that as well to get that advice. But the Hierophant, which is Taurus's energy, also means your own wisdom. And it also means your own wisdom is going to level you up. Which I'm finding quite interesting because look how these cards are here. you got two cards that are completely different energies. Six of Wands and the Hierophant. But in this deck, they're showing something here. There's somebody standing here and there's a lot of people kind of like looking up to whomever this is. It's almost like where you're trying to get your life as being. I don't know. I'm just going to say something really weird. I don't know if you're trying to prove something to your family, to yourself, about who you can become. If this is what you're trying to do. It's like I'm trying to get my life to this place where I'm proud of who I am. You will definitely get this right. You will definitely get this right. You're going to have to rely upon your wisdom here. And I even feel what you are currently going through, feeling this like overwhelmed energy, feeling like, oh my gosh, it's so stuck, you know. I do feel like um, you are going to go through it. I feel like you're going to handle it. And I feel like you are actually going to get your life to exactly, exactly where you want it to be. So at this moment, whatever pause you're stuck in, whatever emotion that you're kind of feeling, just know that it's not going to stay. It is going to shift from you. Because the Eight of Swords is always a card, okay, of illusion. It's always a card of illusion. Always. And this is what we're imagining in the moment that we're in. But the next moment as you're moving forward, you are going to move through this and you're going to get yourself to where you need to be. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much, Scorpio. I hope this helps you. Um, always know that one thing is for sure in this life, 
and that is and guaranteed as well that is change even from the current situation that you find yourself in it will change as well so whatever feels stuck right now is not going to be stuck okay there we go thank you scorpio let's do this for okay i couldn't even get your reading started sagittarius okay i'm shuffling and the card goes flip and i'm just like well there we go and it says here okay saggy welcome by the way thank you for being here blue moon okay which is unusual in itself because a blue moon would be two full moons in one month okay and it says they believe in the impossible because Sagittarius is going to create the impossible am I surprised not really okay um I think people are in the zodiac I feel like Sagittarius is the one who can surprise people the most most people don't realize because a lot of people kind of like look at Sagittarius, you know, um, the centaur having a good time over there. And they kind of don't, they kind of forget. And a lot of people don't take note that Sagittarius is the only zodiac sign that carries a weapon. Okay. So it's almost like, you know, out there having a good time, you're having a party, you're doing what you're doing, getting a bit wild over there. Sag is doing their thing and being impulsive, being just you know, even sometimes people may look at us or may, because I'm sad as well, they may look and go, okay, you're not um, as ambitious as you should be. Or when other people were, were building their empire, you were having a good time, you know, but they forget that Sagittarius has got a, a weapon. And when it comes time to do it, Sagittarius does it. Okay, so you're going to surprise people here. I feel like you're going to surprise a lot of people. The five of wands coming up in your energy, you will solve all these problems. Believe in the impossible. Five of wands, I'm looking at how this beaver here is trying to build this home for himself. And that water, look, at, look how rough that water is. It's like it's washing away every little stick that he's trying to stick in there to build this dam, okay? And the water's just going, shh, and the beaver, look at his face, he's like, like really but is that beaver gonna stop these beavers build dams okay before technology ever came along they little sharp teeth little paws like this cutting down trees going crazy doing seemingly the impossible okay these are the engineers of nature and let me tell you something you are going to surprise people here with your determination with your even yourself maybe with your determination with your stubbornness as well. Because a lot of people don't know that Sagittarius is actually pretty stubborn. When they want to be. Okay, because nobody can make Sagi do anything they don't want to do. Okay, so let's see the situation here. Two of Swords. How interesting is this? We've got water again showing up here. And um, we've got this little, little Two of Swords. The Two of Swords showing up is always a sign of fear. It's always attached to fear. Um, it's attached to um, what you don't see. Because in the original Two of Swords, the person is sitting with the Two of Swords, <coughs> excuse me, crossed over their chest. But at the same time, they've got a blindfold on. So it talks about fear about the future because you don't really see the future and you're not sure how things will unfold. A little bit of fear coming in here. Um, it's an interesting energy. So let's see what your spirit guides will advise you. <laughs> they're letting you know do worrying about the long-term future sadly really um you're, you're beginning to worry about the long-term future and exactly am i am i where i'm supposed to be am i doing what i'm supposed to do is this my path it's almost like you have been putting a lot of effort into something here and you have been going okay i think this is the path i need to be walking and then at the same time because you're kind of like wondering, are these, like she's got her eggs there, literally waiting to hatch, okay? And she's going, are they going to hatch? Is my dream going to come true? Did I make a mistake? What's going on here? I'm really curious to see what the guy will show you. Three of Swords coming up here and the King of Cups. This is an interesting reading. Oh my goodness. The Three of Swords energy is some kind of torn between different decisions here. It's kind of like aligning with exactly what I just said here. It's like your heart is going, you know what? There's something that I want here. There's something that I want to create here. And then at the same time, you're not sure if you're going to be able to do this. It's almost like you're torn between your dream, what you're supposed to be doing, and what other people want you to do. 
and you may not know exactly what to do here. It could be a bit of confusion, confused energy. Remember the first card that came out as it believe in the impossible. Believe that you can create that damn wall. Okay? Sorry about the door slamming. Believe that even though you do not see and you may be in a place of fear, doubting, am I going to get this right? Know this. You're going to have to trust something here in the future. I want to look under the deck for you. Let's have a look and see. You got the Queen of Cups coming up here. The Queen of Cups. It's just an interesting energy. The Queen of Cups always follows our heart. And I feel like your heart is torn in different directions here. Because the Three of Swords can be something like um, you have to make a decision between what you want to do, your career, or maybe your, what, you, what you do for a living, you know, the dream that you want to follow and what your family wants you to do or what you feel is necessary to do. And it's very hard to make a decision if you're getting torn in different directions or even doubting if you're doing the right thing. And the Queen of Cups always comes in here saying, follow your heart. Follow your heart and soul. That's the top card that gets on top of the stick. Follow your heart. Follow your soul. Because if you follow your heart, this has been coming up a lot in your readings. Follow what your heart is telling you. And don't get torn between, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the wrong thing? Is it going to make everybody happy? What's going to make you happy? What is going to make you happy? Ultimately, at the end of the day, the Seven of Pentacles is always a card of this. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is about. It means that you have been putting the hard work in. You have been nurturing whatever it is you're trying to create. But because you do not see those little eggs hatching as of yet, you're not sure if it's going to come about. But you have been doing the right thing. You have been doing what you're needing to be doing. And because you have been doing that, you are going to build that dam that security. You are going to solve every problem you're needing to face here and you will be able to create something that seemed impossible as long as you don't let that fear and doubt come in the way and you allow yourself to follow your heart, okay? You are going to move into a place of the sun. The sun card, the most auspicious tarot card in the entire tarot. It means ultimate happiness and growth in your life and you get here by following your happiness, by following the things that put your heart on fire, but that makes you happy, you'll get your life to this place where you have growth, where you are happy, and where you feel like you belong. Let me tell you, she's sitting there, male or female energy, she knows I belong here. This is where I'm happy. And the only way to get you happy is to follow what makes you happy. And not let too much fear stand in your way. Because I really do believe you are working very hard. And you are going to get all the rewards that you are working so hard on. There we go. Sagittarius. What an interesting reading. Kind of, I feel for the weekend energy. We're going to have another reading on Sunday. But I feel like as you enter the, the, the weekend, don't panic too much. Don't freak out too much about something you're trying to work on. Just... Breathe into the energy of the weekend and keep on working on your goal. Keep on working on your dream and do not give up on something here. Because if somebody can create the impossible, it is you. You can create that impossible. You can make miracles happen because it's showing up in your reading that you can. Okay, so there we go, Saji. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this one helps and guides you. Check out your latest reading, which should be out already or maybe about a day or two after this one. So do check that out when it does come out. Thank you so much for being here. Let's do this for my Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome into your reading. Thank you so much for being here one more time. And if you have not been here before, thank you for clicking into this video. It is wonderful to have you here. Let's see what we need to see for Friday and Saturday for you. Capricorn, what's going on here? Okay, um, a new romantic cycle begins. Holy moly. And this is new moon in Libra. Very nice to see the scales of justice showing up there with Libra's energy. Meaning that there's something that's getting balanced here. Now a new romantic cycle can be um, you meeting a new person. If this is a new person that you're meeting, wow, that is a good relationship because two people are actually wanting the same thing. 
And if this is a relationship that you are currently in, you're moving into a good time, a good stage with this person where it's going to be very romantic between the two of you. Things are going to get sorted out between the two of you and you'll be able to have this great cycle that you move into. It can even be a, a lifting up of energy, like a raising of your connection, meaning that you maybe you're dating somebody and this person's like, you know what, let's be exclusive with each other. Let's move in together. Let's get engaged, you know, that next level. Very beautiful energy. So let's see what comes up in your energy here. A new beginning. You might even be having a reconciliation for some of you. It can be. The Ace of Wands is very passionate. I'm just saying, I'm a very passionate reconciliation if that's the case. You're moving into a time of like passion. I'm just saying, what must I say? Moving into a time where, wow, you're really clicking with the person here. Let's see the situation. I'm so curious to see what comes up here. Seven of Pentacles. So, whatever it is that you are concerned about in a current relationship or any relationship that you wish to have, if you don't have one, you're worried that if you meet a person here, yeah, um, or if you're in a connection with a person, will this work long term? So this is kind of like you looking at this energy of like, okay, I'm going to put a lot of effort into this. I'm going to put effort into this person, into this connection. What if it doesn't stay stable? Or what if we don't actually end up being together forever kind of thing? You know what I mean? So let's see what Spirit Guide will advise you. Oh, focus on what it is you want and not what you don't want, okay? You can bring this relationship to you. As long as you're working from a place of um, what you're trying to create and what you wish to see instead of what you don't wish to see. This is the thing with the Magician card. It talks about what you're trying to bring in. It talks about what you're trying to bring into a reality. And if you are focusing your energy, because the Magician card never really talks about what the magician is creating. The magician is actually creating reality from everything he carries. And he carries the sword, he carries the cup, he carries the wand, he carries the pinnacle. And that's all the energy that's also inside of you. And if your energy is focusing on what you don't want to see, you're going, yeah, but if I meet this person, what if they do bad to me like others, they do me dirty, you know, like others have done to me? you automatically begin to create that kind of reality. So if you're focusing on a good relationship and you're like, wow, no, the person who comes into my life and the person who I'm going to end up being with, we're going to have a good relationship. It is going to be long term. Any bad people that are going to be hurting me, they won't even come near me because that's me. I'm only attracting good quality top draw you know what I mean not bottom draw anything so that's where you got to keep your focus at that's where you really got to focus so let's see what will come in here I even see a strength card saw the strength card I saw the strength card all right somebody in my house helping me queen of wands be confident be confident you know um somebody is really looking at you here um, i'm noticing this little bird here i call you a blackbird it's giving this one to the lion there it's almost like hello do you see me i feel like you're embodying this energy of the queen of wands here and it can be your person seeing your value realizing what you mean to them it can be you just in your energy here maybe feeling confident i feel like you've got a bit of a glowing energy showing up here it's like you're shining you know what i mean somebody sees your quality they see your worth and they see your energy and i feel like they really like this if you're single whoa somebody's gonna somebody's noticing you now already or they they're going to notice you it's like you just walk past somebody and they're just like who's that Who's that queen of wands, male or female energy? And I feel like this is where you need to keep your focus here. Understand that whatever the situation is for you, it's either somebody seeing your worth here or somebody seeing your worth here. One way or the other, where you're going to be moving into a new relationship and or a new kind of relationship with the person you're already with. That is ex ex absolutely excellent energy, Capricorn. So let's get into this. Thank you so much for being here. Let's do this for you, Aquarius. How are you doing? Welcome into your Friday and Saturday reading, which is going to be looking at 
general energy, but it can be something specific as well. It just depends on what comes up in your reading, okay? So we're looking at the 10th to the 11th of November. The portal on the 11th of the 11th is also opening up as well, which can be new cycles for many people. So let's see how this is going to be affecting you. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So the adjustments are required here. You're close to reaching some kind of goal. Um, I feel like something that you're doing here is not working currently. So you have to do something differently. Um, this is what I understand about anything that you're working on, no matter what this is to you. When you're trying to get something right and you're not getting it right, it doesn't mean that you must give up on something. It means that you must find another approach to it. There's many different ways and different perspectives and different way, uh, uh, you know, approaches or even different ways of executing something. And everybody, excuse me, does things differently. Um, and I feel like when one thing is not working for you, then you need to see what can I change here? Because if you keep trying something over and over and over again the same way, and you're not getting a result, you'll never get a result from that way you're trying it. So change something. Change something here and try something a little bit different. Not necessarily giving up on something, but try just try something a bit different. You know what I mean? So let's see what comes in here for you. Something that you guys, something that you could, you could be in a relationship as well, because I heard Spirit Guide saying, uh, something that you guys are doing. Um, it could be you working with people in some kind of way or something that involves another person. It has Something has to change here. All right, so let's get into your energy and see. The Magician, definitely trying to create something here. Working very hard, focusing and trying to bring something into reality. Um, adjustments. Adjustments are important here because, uh, and it's you that needs to adjust, okay? Because when we change how we do something, you're changing how you're doing something in you. And one of the things I understand about what I'm reading here is that um, the biggest change you'll ever have to create change on the outside of you is change in you. So that means you have to change basically everything you're doing or something that you're doing. Because everything that you're currently doing is getting the result that you're currently getting. So if you want to change that result, you have to change when you change something about yourself here, be it you wake up earlier, you start thinking differently, you um, focus your energy in a different direction, you uh, try something new, reality must respond to that. And outside of you must change if the inside of you changes. And that means everything that you're thinking, everything that you're doing, everything that you believe, everything that you feel, and the action that you take, where you put your focus, something's got to change. If you can change something like that, your entire reality can change. Do you know that? If you can change what you think, what you do all day long, where your focus goes, because where your focus goes, if your focus is going on your phone all day long, then your reality will be created from this kind of world. And if you want your reality to change, if you can put your phone down and don't go there the whole day, your life is going to change in some kind of way. Wherever our focus is going, it's how our reality is being, because that's where our energy goes, that's where our action goes. So you change something here, you're going to change your reality. That's how it works. That universe energy must match your energy. There's no other way. So let's see your situation, waiting, holding on, holding on to a dream, holding on to see something change with the hangman coming in here. It's like, I'm waiting to see that sunrise. I'm waiting to see the results of my effort here. You will get this right, but you have to do something differently. You have to do something differently. Um, Spirit guide advice to open up your world. Open up your world and see how you can approach something in a different way. Um, the Three of Wands means actually new experiences. And all that I've been talking about here is almost like they're saying, try something you've never tried before. Do something different. Step into something that you've never tried before. It's almost like, <clears throat> say for instance, you're trying to get healthy. You're trying to get fit. Just an example. 
and you go to gym every single day and you don't get healthier you don't get fitter and you're like i don't know what's changed i don't know what to do i'm waiting i've been putting so much effort i'm waiting to see the results and then you say what do i do and then maybe somebody says to you hey um why don't you um try hiking you know something that you never thought of doing and just like hiking and they're like yeah let's go hiking it's also pretty healthy for you and then you start hiking up mountains and stuff and boom, you just get fit like that. You just lose all that weight. It's because something that you're currently doing is not really working. So you've got to change something here. Okay, this is what we're getting at. Your outcome, you will steady but surely move towards what it is you're trying to create. It's going to be a process. That's what I can tell you. But know that you are moving in that direction towards some kind of stability here. Be it a business, be it career, be it finances, relationship even, or your own health in some kind of way, this is you moving towards it. It is going to be slow, but it will be steady. So keep adjusting, even on this route, even when you see a change happen and something moves in your favor, um, then keep doing it. And then when you feel it gets a bit stuck again, change something else. Sometimes it can be as simple as changing something in your everyday life that maybe is not even connected to what your goal is but that shift in your energy must shift the energy on the outside of you there is no way it's like you say to yourself let me take up meditation this is one of the biggest things that i find that helps me um, is meditation when i got a steady regular meditation schedule going which sometimes i also do fall out of like everybody else i find that events seem to shift for me because something shifts inside me when i'm doing that and that can even mean meditating at a different time or even adding extra time onto it it can be as simple as saying you know what i'm sleeping an hour earlier every day and I'm waking up a bit earlier or I'm waking up fresher. Just that shift in your energy. It can be as simple as saying, you know what, I'm cutting out certain things out of my diet. Just that shift in your energy will create a shift in the external energy in which you live. Okay, there we go, Aquarius. I hope this one helps you. Um, let me get into this for my Pisces. Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome into this reading. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get into this for you. Okay. Got the card, got the card. Let's see what that is. I'm not sure. Let's have a look and see what flipped like that. All right. Oh, Pisces. You got an end to a rough cycle. Good. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Whatever you are going through, <clears throat> be it financial difficulties, problems that you are dealing with, something that you're trying to create that is just not happening for you. You're trying to work on this goal, this dream, and you've got problems popping up here that's preventing you from moving forward, solving a problem. You're stuck in something here. It's about to be shifted. So I've got two cards that literally just went flying. So I'm going to take what that is. Let's cut the deck and find out what else will come in for you here. Let's have a look. In your energy, Pisces. We've got the king of wands the king of wands is a good thing to come up in your energy it shows that you there's an excitement here there's a good positive energy vibration the king of wands is always about what they're trying to create the king and queen of wands is always inspiring energy motivational energy and it's also about goals that you're trying to reach here so you could be trying to get your life into this place where you feel like the king of wands where you feel excited about your life where you feel like you're living a life that's 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 worth living that's bringing this energy of, of um being motivated about who you are as a human being that's a very positive energy to be in the king of wands can some and the queen of wands they very um inspired about the life that they're living in because they're creating it, okay? It's almost like they're the artists of their own reality. So that's interesting. Let's see what's coming up here. The high priestess, you are going to have to trust here. The high priestess is talking about what you don't see coming. It talks about the unknown energy, what is happening behind the scenes of reality, what is shifting for you that you may not know right now. I feel like, to be honest with you, to see this like this, I feel as if you're going to be moving into a time where you're going to be feeling 
especially if you're dealing with something here, you're trying to solve a problem. I feel like you're definitely solving it or you wouldn't have the King of Wands energy. You have to trust right now that there's events taking place here behind the scenes, even maybe being aided by your own spiritual team, your spiritual people that are going to be putting you, that is going to be putting you into a place where you really feel like you're safe, first of all, and you feel like you you're getting something right here. I love the energy that I'm picking up, I'm picking up on. King of Swords, you're going to know. Oh, I love your clarity coming in here. King of Swords is such a good card, okay? The King of Swords, air energy, talks about the mind. The King of Swords always knows where he's going. He's got those big eyes. This owl is just sitting there looking in the dark, seeing into the dark, and seeing pretty clearly. And it can literally see... Okay, so this is where my life is going. Okay, so this is all the things that are surrounding me. And he can see clearly and openly how to move forward. Meaning that whatever has been blocking you here, whatever has been a problem that you could not solve, you now see clearly. You know how to solve this problem. You know what's coming and you know where you're going. So this is a good vibe to baby in here. Your outcome here, you've got so many kings in your reading. Three kings. That's a, lot of that's a lot of security coming your way. There's a lot of goals that you are reaching here. Three kings. I haven't had that in quite a while. Um, I'll explain to you what three kings mean. And I'm going to explain in what area of your life this is going to change how things are for you. Um, the king of cups is all about emotion. How you feel in this world. But the kings is all about accomplishment, reaching a certain place or a goal in your life. So part of what you're trying to bring in here is you wish to kind of like be in a kind of place in your life where you can live the life that you want to be living, where you feel inspired when you wake up in the morning. You're getting there. Okay. You also want, okay, it's not asking for much here, Pisces. You're just asking for everything. You also want to know where you're going, what kind of life you're going to be living, uh, what will unfold for you in your future. You want to see clearly. You want to know how to reach your goals. You're going to get there. And not too much to ask. You also want to be happy. So you are, yeah, you are getting your life into a place where you feel inspired. You know what you're going to be doing. You know how to proceed forward, but you're also moving into a life where you are happy where you are. Best reading for you ever. In this current energy, you need to trust what we just spoke about here because this is coming in for you. There is movement happening around you that's going to end something here where you've been going through a tough time. Let me tell you, to have a tough time ending and you see three kings like that, there you are. Goals accomplished. You are in a place of power here in your life. Beautiful. Pisces, thank you so much for being here, Pisces. I will see you guys in your next reading. Otherwise, I'll see you in your next long-form content reading, which will be out in like a day or two over the weekend as well. I will see you then. Bye.